the returns on any risky assets are generally uncertain and their uncertainty is measured by the standard deviation of the returns on the other hand the returns on risky assets are certain with zero standard deviation the rate of return on earned on risky assets is known as risk free rate of return or rfr now let's see what happens when a risk free asset is combined with risky assets through the markowitz portfolio model at first we have a covariance with a risk free assets we know that covariance between two assets is the sum of the their individual mean deviations and for a moment if we assume that in our equation the ri refers to the return on a risk free assets then we know that the returns of risk free assets are certain this means that the standard deviation of returns on risk free assets and the their mean deviation both are equal to 0 this means the covariance of risk free risk free assets with any risky asset will always be equal to 0 this means that correlation between any risky asset and the risk free asset would then also be equal to 0 next what will happen if we combine a risk free asset with a risky portfolio we have a two effects of this combination the first effect would be on the expected returns we know that the expected returns of a portfolio that includes a risk free asset with a collection of some risky assets is basically the weighted average of the two return streams this means that uh, the equation would be equal to weight of risk free asset into risk free rate plus 1 minus weight of risk free asset into the expected return on market port portfolio if we analyze this equation we can understand that the uh, that the expected return on portfolio has a linear relationship with the expected return on the market the second impact in this connection is to be considered on the standard deviation of the expected return the expected variance for a two asset portfolio as we know that it is the sum of the weight of weight one of the standard deviation of risk of an asset one plus the weight two of the standard deviation of the asset two and the covariance between these two assets now if we substitute the risk free asset for the security one and the any risky asset portfolio which is portfolio m for the asset 2 this means that if we replace asset 1 with the risk free asset and asset 2 with the uh, risk uh, risky portfolio the equation will remain the same but with the replacement of the expressions we know that both uh, the standard deviation on risk free rate of return and the correlation between risk free asset and a risky asset is equal to 0 when we uh, place 0 in the second uh, equation uh, we will basically have the standard uh, portfolio riskiness which, which is equal to 1 minus risk weight of risk free asset into the standard deviation of the market portfolio and the result is also the same as we have seen in our previous slide that this portfolio the standard deviation is basically in this particular case is also the linear proportion of the standard deviation of the uh, riskiness of the market portfolio now after these two workings when we have a risk return relationship between the portfolio's riskiness and the portfolio's expected return if we manipulate a little mathematical equation we have a a conclusion in the uh, equation that the expected return on portfolio is basically the summation of 
रिस्क फ्री रेट एंड द रिस्क प्रीमियम ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर पर यूनिट ऑफ रिस्क इफ वी इंटरप्रेट दिस इक्वेशन इट विल से दैट इन्वेस्टर्स हु एलोकेट देयर मनी बिटवीन अ रिस्कलेस एसेट एंड अ रिस्की पोर्टफोलियो एम दे कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू थिंग्स नंबर वन आ रिटर्न इक्वल टू द रिस्क फ्री रेट एंड नंबर टू अ कंपनसेशन फॉर द नंबर ऑफ रिस्क यूनिट टेक दीज आर द टू रिवार्ड्स दैट एन इन्वेस्टर शुड एक्सपेक्ट वेन ही कम्बाइंस आ रिस्क फ्री एसेट विद आ रिस्की पोर्टफोलियो एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन कन्फर्म्स द इन्वेस्टमेंट थीरी विच सेज दैट इन्वेस्टर बेसिकली परफॉर्म्स टू फंक्शन इन द कैपिटल मार्केट फॉर विच ही एक्सपेक्ट्स टू बी रिवॉर्डिड फॉर द अदर्स टू यूज देयर मनी इन एक्सचेंज फॉर द रिस्क फ्री रेट this means that when ever an investor comes into the capital market he needs a compensation for the amount he gives to other in exchange of a risk free rate of return and second the investment uh, he puts in risky assets he bears the risk that the returns promised with that particular investment will not be repaid to him so these are the two rewards reward first as a risk free rate of return and reward two as a risk premium for which an investor comes into the capital market now what happens if we combine a risk free asset with a risky portfolio in this continuation we see that a linear combination between the expected return and this riskiness for such a portfolio helps to draw a graph of possible portfolio returns and risk and this graph shows a straight line between the two assets and that straight line we see here which uh, starts from rfr at the vertical axis and it goes on here that line is termed as a cml or the capital market line basically the equation which we have seen earlier is called as the cml equation this cml is, is in fact a straight line who has an intercept at risk free rate and its slope is equal to the expected risk premium so that is the slope which is basically equal to the expected risk premium per unit of market riskiness uh, this cml defines the relationship between expected return on a market portfolio and the riskiness of the market portfolio and the slope of the cml shows the investors overall attitude towards the risk and now for a short while if we assume uh, m as a market portfolio which comprises of a single risky asset to minimize the risk premium this means that m is the market portfolio containing all risky assets held everywhere in the market so this means that the this market portfolio will receive highest level of expected return in excess of the risk free rate so if we draw this up to this then the difference from this to this will be the excess return excess over the risk free rate and that is the excess return and this excess return is measured in terms of the mar riskiness of the market portfolio in this way we see that the earlier equation which is basically explaining two things the risk free rate and the market risk premium per unit of riskiness that equation is basically the cml or the capital market line now if we draw a straight line using various combinations starting from a risk free asset and combining with the many risky assets along with this market uh, markowitz efficient portfolio for instance we have this combination from rfr to the portfolio a that rfr a is the combination that is lays alongside the market portfolio then any combination on this line would dominate the portfolio possibilities that fall below it for example if we see another combination that is rfr to b then rfr to b is a portfolio that is above the portfolio of rfr a the portfolio of rfr b is dominating the portfolio of rfr because 
at this portfolio the expected return is higher uh, having the similar or same level of riskiness if we continue to draw lines uh, similar to rfra or rfrb at the efficient frontier with the increasingly higher slope then we will reach at a point that will be tangent to the market portfolio uh, then we will say that the portfolios along line rf rm will dominate all other possible combinations that investors could form for example at point c uh, this point c could be said let's say while investing 50% of the assets in risk free securities and the remaining 50% of the amount in portfolio m so uh, we will have an other efficient frontier alongside the markowitz efficient uh, frontier while adding these lines we will have a complete uh, straight line with all the feasible combinations that the investor can set this means that our cml basically is now an other efficient frontier that combines the market efficient frontier of the risky assets with the ability to invest in the risk free security so in in this way we will be having two efficient frontiers the first is the markowitz efficient frontier with the risky assets and the other is F, other is the cml that is containing a risk free assets uh, now what will happen if we uh, put the leverage into our investment then to attain a higher expected rate of return uh, than the return which is available at portfolio m or the market portfolio expect accepting a higher riskiness what will happen this means either we need to invest along the efficient frontier beyond the point m and here we have at point d this means that we can extend our investment to point d or we can add leverage to our portfolio while borrowing funds at the risk free rate or the rfr rate then we will invest in risky portfolio at m in fact this is depicted at point e so in this case through the leverage we will be extending our expected rate of return with the uh, higher standard deviation or the riskiness of the portfolio now what is the effect of this leverage on our risk return combination for the portfolio investment if we uh, borrow at the risk free rate then it will be have two effects first let's see on the expected return on market portfolio we see that expected return on market portfolio will be increased in a linear fashion alongside the cml because this return increases in proportion to the borrowing uh, because the investor must pay interest at the risk free rate on the borrowing that we see here that as we have earlier seen that expected return on a market portfolio is the weighted average return on the risk free rate and weighted average return on the market portfolio uh, with the portion of borrowed capital our portfolio return will increase in linear proportion to the borrowing now uh, let's see what is effect on the portfolio riskiness of the leverage if uh, we see that the effect is as same as the effect of leverage on the expected return of the portfolio it moves in linear fashion uh, with the uh, borrowing proportion so we can say that both the return and the risk of the uh, portfolio increase in a linear fashion alongside the cml in the presence of the leverage